Hey guys, Dr. Chad. Uh, today starts our first in a series of supplements that are uh, looking at prevention of migraines. As a neurologist and uh, as a son of a mother with terrible migraines, uh, this is a disease process that's very much uh, has a place in my heart. Uh, I've treated thousands of patients with migraines over the years, uh, doing a multitude of um, options, medications, conservative care. Uh, my uh, journal article that I published, I was using stimulators for uh, headaches, migraines being one of them. So uh, something I'm very familiar with. Uh, today we're going to discuss coenzyme Q10. Uh, I was able to look at uh, six studies. Uh, one study was a meta-analysis. What that means is a group of researchers uh, do a high-level medical search of multitude of studies, and then they uh, digest the data to look at what studies have uh, relevance and which studies can be thrown out. Um, looking at all these studies, what I've taken from it is, number one, uh, coenzyme Q10 really has no toxic dose. So again, I love the house money. Uh, you really don't have a lot of lo to lose here other than the money you pay for it. Uh, coenzyme Q10 works on mitochondrial function. Uh, back in our high school science days, uh, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. And when it doesn't function appropriately, you can get a host of disease processes, uh, but obviously migraine being one. Uh, so what they speculate in terms of the effect of this supplement is it helps modulate or regulate the mitochondria to help prevent headaches. Uh, all of these studies uh, looked at coenzyme Q10 anywhere from 100 uh, to 600 milligrams a day in terms of safety. I would say looking at these studies, two to 300 seem to be the overwhelming dosage that they use. Uh, these studies are really good, double-blinded, placebo-controlled. Obviously, with all supplement studies, they're not at the level of a pharmaceutical company, uh, but there's good evidence. Uh, what I took from this is they looked at seven parameters with headaches, the nausea, the vomiting, uh, how severe the headaches were, the frequency. Uh, where coenzyme Q10 really seemed to work is the frequency of headaches, so the number of headaches you're having. I didn't see as much evidence on the associated effects, the nausea and vomiting, or the duration of the headaches, but um, overwhelmingly, I did see that the frequency did decrease. Um, so my opinion, looking at this, if you have headaches, um, you really don't have a lot to lose by taking coenzyme Q10. And then when you look at the effects, uh, the positive effects that coenzyme Q10 can have on your heart and other organ system disease process, um, it really is a good supplement to add to your daily uh, regimen. Um, and again, I didn't see anything where people had a uh, adverse event taking this uh, medica this supplement. Uh, I just want to make a huge disclaimer though, the changes in headache frequency were not dramatic. We're talking one or two less headaches a month. So even though they were statistically significant, um, it wasn't a dramatic, I no longer have headaches type of situation. Um, so I hope this is helpful with your headaches. If you're already taking coenzyme Q10, uh, please give me some feedback over social media uh, with your response, any uh, issues you may have had or results or lack thereof that you've seen. I'm always interested to hear my uh, viewers' feedback and um, I hope this helped. We're gonna do some more supplements for migraine as I know this is a, a very difficult disease process. So always a pleasure, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.